People in Alaska were jolted awake overnight by a powerful earthquake in the Gulf of Alaska and sirens warning of a possible tsunami. Jamie Yukas is in Anchorage tonight. Oh my gosh, it's an earthquake. First came the shaking, then a dire warning. The magnitude 7.9 earthquake struck a half hour past midnight, well off the Alaska coast. The quake itself, far enough away not to cause major damage, but in the worst spot for a potential tsunami. Attention, a tsunami warning has been issued for this area. Within minutes, the roads in the seaside town of Kodiak, Alaska, were filled with cars heading to higher ground. This is not a drill. This is an actual tsunami warning. That warning covered not only most of coastal Alaska, but also the entire coast of British Columbia. Tsunami watches were posted from Washington State to California and even Hawaii and as far away as American Samoa. For two harrowing pitch black hours, many braced for the worst. But by 4 a.m., less than four hours after the quake hit, all warnings were lifted. The only tsunami, an eight inch wave in Kodiak. Still, almost every Alaskan felt the initial jolt. It just kept going and going and going and going. Geologist Peter Hoistler, who's based in Anchorage, says even though a major tsunami didn't materialize, this was hardly a false alarm. Due to the nature of this earthquake, could this have been a lot worse? It sure could have. In the early moments after the earthquake occurred, we really wondered if there was going to be a bad tsunami afterwards. This morning's earthquake happened where the floor of the Pacific Ocean is close to sliding under the North American continent, the same spot that saw the second most powerful earthquake ever recorded, a 9.2. Jamie Yukas, CBS News, Anchorage, Alaska. The earthquake occurred at 12.32 Alaska Standard Time. Right now, there is a warning in effect for the Alaska coastline. It does not include the city of Anchorage, Alaska. Just want to again remind everybody, this is not a drill. This is an actual tsunami warning. Uh, everybody get at least 100 feet above sea level, high school parking lot. Pillar Mountain is safe, however, it is very backed up right now, so you won't make it there in five minutes. 